for the last couple of months I've been traveling around a little bit which is why I've been quite busy and haven't been able to make many videos but I thought I'd share a tip with you about how when I go to a new place uh, when I've got some downtime I like to just run around and take photographs in the last month for example I've been to uh, Warsaw and Lisbon two cities which I have visited for the first time in my life there's a I think there's a special kind of alchemy when you go to a city as a photographer for the first time and you see it with fresh eyes and you're walking around and sort of taking taking shots of what you see I deliberately don't do a lot of research when I go to a new place photographically because I find it's too tempting then to run to the tourist spot and take the tourist photograph. I like to just wander around and, and see what I see. And it's really gratifying when you get people on Instagram who will uh, post, and this will happen quite often, they'll say something like, it's great to see you know, my city through your eyes. You know, I think when you live in a place and you get very used to it and you get very comfortable with it, you can start to take it for granted. And that's why it's, it's great to visit fresh places and, and put your eye to work in a place that you haven't been before and post your take on what you're seeing. So the way I like to do it when I'm traveling, and obviously if I'm traveling for photography reasons, I'm, I'm carrying a lot of gear with me, you know, bags, and they're all heavy and it's, it's full of equipment. Um, but when I've got that downtime, I love to be able to just walk fast in a city and, and see what I see. I get quite a kick out of that. And I don't want to carry a heavy backpack with me or, or whatever else. So what I do is I just take this. This is my little, my little go bag when I'm in a city that I haven't been to before. It's a bag by a company called Coolatron, uh, which does sound like a four-year-old making up new transformers, but that's what they call themselves. And inside I've got hardly anything. And this, this little bag just sits at the bottom of my suitcase and I'll pull it out and load it up with just these little bits. Uh, a Kindle and an iPad just to walk around, um, literally just my wallet and this is the camera that I use. I use a little Fuji X100. Now street photographers love these little cameras uh, and they are really good. This though is the first generation X100. I picked it up for about 300 pounds from a second hand store. Uh, it was, since this camera, it has been the X100S, the X100T, and just recently they released the X100F, and they've come leaps and bounds in terms of what they can do, and they've knocked out a lot of the kinks. This first generation one, for example, has atrocious autofocus, and it's very, very hard to manual focus with it as well, because you've got an electronic viewfinder here where you can focus, and it's got a bit of focus peeking in there as well, but the resolution is so low, it's really difficult to see what you're getting. Um, it takes good photographs, um, but the reason that I take this rather than a DSLR or a better camera or, 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 or cameras that I know I'm going to get better image quality with is because this is a friendly camera. If I'm walking around on the street with a DSLR, I will often find that people will clock me. It's amazing how literate people are when it comes to the different kind of cameras and I think the general public associates something like a DSLR with either press or someone with nefarious motives and they're not sure what you're taking, or commercial stuff, you know, you're taking stuff and photographs of people outside of a shop and you're gonna use their shop in the background and, you know, I don't know what you're gonna do sometimes, but the, the amount of times I'll be walking around a city with a DSLR and I'll get a filthy look or I'll get chased off from somewhere. This, I think, because of this kind of retro styling, people can mistake this camera for uh, an analog camera, for a film camera. And because of that, it feels friendlier to people. So if I want to stay kind of below the radar and just shoot for the fun of it, this is what I'll take because instead of pulling up that big heavy lens in front of somebody and they look at me suspiciously, I often find that if I pull this up in front of somebody and take a photograph, they'll smile instead. And it's such a psychological thing, but for me, this helps me feel comfortable in a new city where I feel I won't get into as much trouble, I won't be paid attention to as much, and I can get some good imagery that I can use along the way. The way that I generally like to work is I'll just take this as I go. This will be slung over my back and I'll walk quickly. Um, I, I, I'm not one of these street photographers who camps in a spot and waits for hours for that shot to come through because I want to try and balance my, you know, want to get good shots with, I just want to see a place. So I like to move quickly and see what I can see. Um, so I'll walk, take shots as I go and sort of, you know, walk around for a couple of hours and then I'll find a coffee shop and what I'll do is snap out the SD card and uh, I've got a little adapter um, you know better cameras at the moment are coming out with uh, Wi-Fi this obviously didn't have that 
when it came out, but this little adapter, which is just a lightning port to SD card adapter. And if I pop this in here, I'll usually sit down at a coffee shop somewhere and I will plug this into my phone and automatically it will pull up my um, photos and then I can just select what I want to import and pull it onto the camera. Then I can sit with uh, apps. I use uh, Snapseed a lot. I use Darkroom, which is really good for curves and I've created some presets in there that I really like the look of. Um, and then to Instagram and maybe just some tweaks in Instagram and post. And I really like this idea that kind of I can, I can run with very, very little weight and I can shoot what I see around me, sit down at a coffee shop, edit it up quickly on the go, and just send it out to the internet. I use a site called IF Triple T, uh, which is short for if this, then that. And basically what it does is it sets up rules for you where uh, you can say, if I post to Instagram, then also post the same to Twitter. So I've got that set up, for example. So when I post to Instagram, it automatically post to Twitter. I can post to uh, Facebook platforms um, from within Instagram as well. And I've also got something set up on my website that uh, has a page on my website that updates with the most recent 20 images from my Instagram account. So across all these platforms, while I'm running around in a foreign city from a cafe, I can be uploading these images as I go. It's not uh, professional studio images or anything, but it is just walking around and keeping my photographic eye sharp and putting something back out into the world as well and engaging with the community that I'm involved in. So this was just a quick little tip. Uh, I've got a big trip coming up in the next week and hopefully in a couple of weeks time I will be posting at least two films I've got planned uh, from that as well. So keep an eye out for those and I'll see you next time.